So what are we all about? What is Design Exchange about? What do we think the future of design is all about? For us, it's important for us to demonstrate the power of design, innovation, and technology to change the world for better for everyone. We believe that design can be a catalyst to positive change. We believe that design deserves a seat at the table, should have a seat at the table when discussing these very important challenges and issues that we're facing as a planet. So what are we doing with all that? We're launching a design expo. Uh, it's called EDIT, which is the acronym for Expo for Design, Innovation, and Technology. It also refers to the fact that it's an edited, curated experience. We're running it this fall, September 28th to October 8th. And we decided to do it at a very important time. It's Canada's 150th anniversary, as well as Ontario's 150th anniversary. And we want to speak about the future, the next 150 years. What will the future of Canada, the future of our province, look like in 150 years? And and we think innovation, design, and technology is a big part of that. So we'll be looking at how the intersection of those three things work together to make the world a better place for all people. And so when I saw that video that I showed you earlier with the global goals, it inspired me enough to contact the UN. And I went to meet with them in New York. And I remember standing in front of the UN thinking, what am I doing here? And had a great meeting with the person there and told them all about our project and all about what we're hoping to achieve and asked the UN to partner with us on EDIT. And they said yes. And so EDIT is in partnership with the United Nations Development Program. And it's inspired and informed by the 17 global goals for sustainable development. And we've chosen the theme of prosperity for all. And so we'll be creating an immersive experience. It's 10 days. We'll be doing an interactive experience that has all kinds of exhibits, features, speakers programs um, that all highlight the global goals and all highlight the projects, some of the projects that I've shown you recently. We're doing a whole series of curated exhibits. Bruce Mao, who's a big global thinker, who works with the major corporations and governments around the world to institute and implement design thinking, will be curating the main exhibit on prosperity for all. Uh, and he'll be working with Paolo Pellegrin, who's a magnum photographer. Shelter in Cities will be curated by Carlo Ratti, who is from the Sensible City Lab at MIT, looking at how we're integrating nature back into our cities combined with technology. CARE has been curated by Julie Lin Wong, who's a Toronto-based engineer, doctor, technologist. Uh, Julie Lin's latest project is called 3D for MD, where people will have the ability to 3D print prosthetics anywhere in the world. Re most recently, she's 3D printed prosthetics on the space station. She also is the one that shared the um, Zipline project with us. Educate's been curated by Kentaro Toyama, the author of Geek Heresy, a book that dispels the idea or that explains the idea that when we design for people in the developed world, those people have to be part of the conversation and they have to be part of the solution. Nourish is being curated by the Jamie Oliver Foundation. We all know Jamie Oliver, of course, is a big celebrity chef, but Jamie also has an advocacy line, a part to his business and what he does um, that looks at food sovereignty and looks at obesity, sugar tax, and all that kind of stuff. So Jamie's quite excited about this project. We're working with all kinds of consulates, education institutions, universities, colleges, and a whole bunch of uh, programming partners like the, um, like the, the, sorry, like Next City, like Actua, like the Breakout Project and so forth, to create this very interactive, immersive experience. I see lots of students here. We have a youth day on October the 4th where admission is free to all schools. Um, so lots of programming for people of all ages. So exhibits, performances, talks, all kinds of interactive experiences, and really, ultimately, the idea is that we want the visitors coming to edit to leave inspired about the role of design, to understand that they too can be part of the solution, to understand that that design is a catalyst for positive change and for making the world a better place. <laughs>